Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people. Teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. No Jews, right? right? right. It's the mute, but they know that that speech will fuel hate. That's but guess right, what? Right. That music will fuel murder, bro. Repent. You a prince of the power. In the length of the hour. You see the strength of the power. First, Peter's doing five. Be a prince in his town. Take and get what is ours. Repent. You a prince of the power in the length of the hour. See the strength of the power. First Peter's two and five. Be a prince in his power. Be bitch that the power. Take it, give what is ours. So at the end of the day, right, it's hard because being a man out here, right, I want to touch something that, that we all do. And I used to do, right? Because I used to do music, right? I love, I know you listen to music, right? And that's one of these. Give me that in 2 Corinthians uh, 1533, 1 Corinthians. Because I, you got to leave here with something, bro. You know what I mean? And one of the things with me, right? With the music, how, I heard, how, how it did me, uh, I, I remember it was like 2012, right? 2012, it was in a rap beat. I don't know if you remember, but they was doing videos in Metaview. They did them doing videos in Oak Park. Next thing you know, everybody's shooting and killing. That same thing going on right now. And I'm going to tell you what, that violence that we that we are a part of, bro, is fueled by that music. But give me that in the, in the, in the Corinthians. The book of 1 Corinthians, uh -huh. chapter 15, okay, verse 33. Uh -huh. Be not deceived. Uh -huh. Evil communication corrupt. Good manners. I remember, bro, when I was when, when I wanted to do something to somebody, I was mad. I put on the city or, or something like, oh man, put that whoever in snubs, put snub, put that mozzie on, right? I'm finna go right, I'm finna go do this, right? Because you know that music is gonna influence that spirit. So likewise for the younger sisters, that music is gonna influence that spirit. And that's something that we gotta attack, man. Because they I don't know if you know about what was that? Uh what was the brother name that got silenced because he said some of the Jews? Uh, Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. Yeah, Nick Cannon, right? So Nick Cannon say something, uh, oh, the Jews, they ain't the real people. It wasn't even violently considered hate, right? But they allow us to talk about murdering each other all day. Right. But a brother a brother can't even say uh, nothing about no Jews, right? right? right. It's the mute, the, but they know that that speech will fuel hate. That's but guess right, what? Right? That music will fuel murder, bro. I'm telling you, bro, that music will fuel hate, right? And so that's something we gotta be conscious of, bro. So likewise, we gotta be conscious of, of how we dress because give me Romans 7 and 14. We up. gotta be conscious of how we dress. We gotta be conscious of what we listen to because guess what? That's food for the soul. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what it is. I'm, I can tell you first here. Read that. Romans chapter 7, verse 14. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For we know uh -huh. that the law is Spiritual. It's the laws of God. It's spiritual. That's why the brother was talking about the pants and the dresses, making sure there's no confusion there. Because guess what? Putting on the pants come with a spirit. I wear the pants in the house, right? What does that mean? Pants is symbolic for being a dominant, right? So that's why we say, look, when you look in the black and Hispanic communities, right? Domestic violence running rampant. Do to this now. You do to this. They get the y'all in there, and we in there fighting because there's no order. There's no structure. Right. Somebody has to be the head, right? Somebody has to be the leader. In every business, you got a supervisor. You can't have a business without a CEO or somebody. Everybody can't be the supervisor, right? right. Likewise, in the household, somebody got to wear their pants, right? right? And that's the dominant male figure in the house, right? God is about order, and we got to come back to that. That's God right. say his laws is spiritual. Likewise, with the music. Music is spiritual, bro. That's why the God say beware, because that evil communication will corrupt your good manners. That's and right. we're going to get right back in the car, cut that mind, you only get to slapping, right? right. Uh, 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 and that's what we do, right? 
But I'm telling you, bro, you got to watch what you put in your spirit, bro, because you a young God on the earth, and we got to come back to that godly nature. You got to understand that the Bible calls us the 12 tribes of Israel. How do we know? Because we read it in the curses of God. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68 real quick, because this is the one that he didn't bring out that's going to drive it home for your understanding to know that you are the children of Israel, the lost 12 tribes of Israel, and we have to come back to our nationality, bro. This book that's the number one book sold in the world, that's when you read about King Solomon, King David, Jesus to Christ, we are descendants of these men. You gotta right, understand right. that, bro. Our history is the greatest on the earth. It's 2020, 22, 2020 years after the death of Christ. That means my great great grandfather is what time is based on. That's you know how big that is? That's a heavy thing, but we don't know how powerful we are as a people. We haven't come to that realization because we don't know who we are. That's right. That's right. You, when you, you have to leave understanding that you are the Israelites. Read that, bro. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee. This is back when he was talking about the curses, right? We curses that come upon us for breaking God's laws, and we what? And the Lord shall bring thee uh -huh. into Egypt again. Egypt is an old quick word that means bondage. It means slavery. I could prove it, but we're going to just keep reading. Go ahead. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So he's the Moses telling the people in the wilderness, look, when you break, if you break God's laws, the Lord's going to bring us back into Egypt. Meaning slave. We just came out of slavery. We just came from building the pyramid. He said we can go back to that, but this time on what? With ships. With slave ships. Go ahead. By the way whereof. I spake unto thee. Exactly how I'm telling you what's going to happen. Go ahead. Thou shalt see it no more again. Uh huh. And there. And there, when you get off those ships, ye shall be sold. You shall be sold. One nigga for sale, Master, Master Jenkins, and, and uh, where? Master Tucson. Yeah. Right? Master Williams, Master Forge. What's your last name? Huh? Perry. Master Perry. Because guess what? Our last name is, uh, 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 is, is actually the name of the slave plantation we was on, brother. You right. gotta understand that. But guess what? Guess what that history is written at? In the Bible. Read it again, that last part. And there uh -huh. he shall be sold uh -huh. unto your enemies uh -huh. for bond men uh -huh. and bond woman, uh -huh. and no man shall buy. And nobody's gonna be able to save you. You see that? That's not talking about no Chinese man. That's not talking about no Arab man. That's talking right. about the so-called black and Hispanic man that That's got right. sold into slavery That's on right. slave ships, bro. Right. Verse 64. Verse 64. Uh huh. And the Lord uh -huh. shall scatter thee. What are you gonna do on those slave ships? Scatter thee uh -huh. among all people. That's why we got Cubans over there in Cuba that don't know that we're the same people. That's why we got Haitians over there in Haiti don't know we're the same people. That's right, why we right. got brothers and sisters scattered on every continent on the face of the earth because of the transatlantic slave trade. Understand that? What that sign? I just want the visual. I just want the visual. I just want the visual, you see that? The transatlantic slave trade. Our people were sold on ships on every continent on the face of the earth. Understand it, but guess what? That's Bible prophecy. It's talking about the lost 12 tribes of Israel, uh, something that happened to them. Who did it happen to? That happened to us. That's what does right. that prove? That proves that we are the Israelites. Right. We are the lost 12 tribes of Israel. We are getting punished for God's, for breaking God's law. Give me that in, uh, in, Ze in Zechariah chapter 11 and verse five. Because yeah. guess what? We, we, he talked about the violence, Floyd getting the uh, foot done on his neck, right? But watch what the Bible say. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Another yeah. curse, go ahead. Whose possessors? The people that took us into slavery. Slay them. They still kill us to this day. And hold themselves not guilty. Who that happened to? Oh, that's, that's happened to the Arabs, huh? They, that's happened to the Arab people? No, but that's happened to the black people, man. That's so right. all the blacks. Understand what I'm saying is that this this Bible is talking about a particular people. It's not you don't see no you don't you don't see no Arabs and Chinese out here talking about Asian lives matter. Ain't no Asian lives matter movement out here, bro. You don't see no movement out here talking about Arab lives matter. Ain't no Arab Lives Matter movement out here, but Black Lives Matter. Why? Because we the ones getting shot down in the street. We the ones getting killed in the street. And they are our oppressor, the white man holding themselves what? Not guilty. Right. Now I ask you this: Why? Bring it out. Why, sis? Yeah, we don't listen yeah, to God's yeah. law. Because God, the Bible say, thou shalt not steal. The Bible say, thou shalt not kill. The Bible give us instruction on how to carry ourselves. We run around here acting like nigga coons and then wonder why don't nobody respect us. Right. right. We out here running around with guns, out here on, 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 on rap videos, putting out there how murderous we are, and then wonder why when the police pull up on you, he gotta kill you because he really scared. Right. right. 
Teach. You see Teach. that? And we really, kill, why do we kill each other? Because we really scared. That's bro. Right. I know I was. I don't know who was that, bro. I don't know. Shoot. Understand that, bro. I was really scared. And I thought he was going to get me. So what I got to do? I got to get him. Right. Why? Right. Because of how we carry ourselves, bro. Yeah. But don't nobody want to get to the root cause of the issue, bro. You yeah. see that? Don't nobody want to talk about where they went wrong. Right. You see that? And start with you, bro. We got to repent. We got to change. Whether it be That's how right. we dress, whether it be the music we listen to, and whether it be the food that we eat. Because God got a dietary law. That's I'm right. going to leave you with that. Give me that in Leviticus 11 and 5. Because guess what? What's the number one cause of death among for black people in America? You would think gang violence, huh? Especially all the last shootings out here. There's been 30, 40 shootings in the last three, four, five weeks, right? It's been a lot of people getting mad. You would think that, right? But no, the number one cause of death amongst blacks and Hispanics, the so-called uh, black and Hispanics, who are really the lost 12 tribes of Israel, right. is high blood pressure, hypertension, heart disease, heart, disease, right. heart attack. Why? Because we just put anything in our mouth. We eat anything. We eat the garbage of the earth and don't even know it. The shrimp, the crab, the lobster, the bottom feeders, right? Read that. The book of Leviticus, uh -huh. chapter 11, verse 7. Uh -huh. And the swine. And the what? The swine. Uh -huh. Though he divided the hoof uh -huh. and be cloven footed, uh -huh. yet he cheweth not the cud. Uh -huh. He is unclean to you. What's the swine? The swine is the pork, right? We love that pork, though, huh? Pork bacon, pork chops, right. pork on that smothered pork, and all that, right? But it's unclean. That's right. And don't chew the cud. If you think about the cow, how the cow do, the cow eat the food, regurgitate it, go into another stomach, regurgitate it, and it eat nothing but grass. And it's cleansing. It has a cleansing. It's a herd animal. It cleanses the food that it eats. It's a herd animal. So that's what God is saying. It don't chew the cud. Do pigs do all that? Hell, they don't even sweat. They don't got pores. Because the pig is the garbage man of the earth. That's God right. made him to clean the earth That's up. Right, right. God made the shrimp to clean the bottom of the sea, just like the catfish, right? What they call the catfish? A bottom feeder. Right. Why they call it a bottom feeder? It feeds off the bottom of the ocean, right? But what? Give me the uh, fins and scales. Keep reading it, actually. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, uh -huh. and their carcass shall ye not touch. Go ahead. They are unclean to you. Uh -huh. These shall ye eat uh -huh. of all that are in the waters. Uh -huh. Whatsoever have fins and scales. Like bass. Bass has fins and scales, right? That's why that's why the kosher, the, the so-called Jewish people, they eat kosher, right? They know these laws. They know that stuff killing them. And they live for a long time getting all the money, right? But they 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 have taken our laws and perpetuated themselves at us. So what I want y'all to know is this, man. Y'all the Israelites, man. You gotta take that with you. You can't leave here today without being constantly convicted and wanting to make some type of change. Man, we gotta make some type of change, bro. You know how many, what's that brother just got killed over there with a uh, little squeeze? That was my little partner, bro. I grew up right here in Oak Park, bro. I gotta, you know how, long, how often this happens to me, bro? Somebody I grew up with, somebody I know getting murdered and killed out here in the street because don't nobody wanna change? That's I right. made that change, bro. You can make that change. That's you can make right. some type of change. Everybody ain't gotta be out here dying and getting killed every day. Right, right. You change. understand what I'm saying? We can change, but it start with you. Bring it out. It start with you, sis, especially because you the mother as an example to your children. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.